the renewable energy industry is facing many challenges and one of the biggest of these is how to recruit enough people to meet the needs of the sector as it grows at a phenomenal rate. There will be jobs at all levels. Sam Badley began working in the wind industry as an apprentice in 2011. He's helping to build what will be the world's largest offshore wind farm, the London Array. It was advertised. Um, people um, went to an induction course at this Wells Skill Centre where they uh, learnt how to make wind turbines, um, learnt what they had to do during the wind turbines. Uh, and then in, in, that sort of, in that course they had to make sure they weren't scared of heights, um, go up a scaffolding, and from there there was short interviews afterwards with people and from there they chose nine, nine of us apprentices to do the job. Renewables, you know, it's a, it's a growing industry, it's you know, sustainably going to be sound for many years and yeah, it's going to be really, it's really exciting. I think, you know, wind industry's on the up and, you know, it's, if it's helping people, you know, some people may say it's not, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but, you know, I think, I personally think it looks nice and if it's helping the country, then why should we do it? The renewable energy industry is facing a severe lack of highly skilled employees too. People who've gained experience working in other industries before making the transition into the renewable sector. As you can see, I left school quite a few years ago. I went into the motor trade. I was in the motor trade for 23 years as a mechanic. I did do the other jobs inside that motor trade. I was uh, a senior service technician. I went into the service advisory role, junior management, um, but I wanted to change, something different, something new, something exciting, more challenging. Because I've been in my trade for quite a long time, it was getting easy without sounding arrogant, um, but I wanted a new challenge and a fresh start, and I, I believe this is what I've been given. You're working in a big nacelle, which basically is a big room. It's just very high up. It's no different to being in a block of flats, um, but the difference is, the safety that's incorporated into that. The safety is paramount, and there's no shortcuts when it comes to your safety. I worked for my last company for 21 years, and it was a massive, massive decision for me to take. I was relatively comfortable earning relatively good wage. But if you want a new challenge, then take the step. That's all you need to do. Be brave and do it. It's not a, a bad industry to get into. It's an extremely good industry. It's emerging and it's developing. There's only one way this industry is gonna go, and that will be up literally. <laughs> At the moment there aren't enough suitably qualified workers to meet the industry's needs. That's partly because there aren't sufficient courses on offer for future recruits to receive the right training. That's why the Renewables Training Network has been set up, a groundbreaking partnership involving many of the key stakeholders in the energy industry. The cost of setting up the organisation has been met jointly by the government and by 14 of the biggest names in the industry. The government's financial contribution was announced by the business secretary, Vince Cable, at the World Skills Leaders Forum at the Excel Centre in London. The government has created a fund to encourage businesses to come together to identify and invest the skills that they need. And this is the Growth and Innovation Fund, uh, worth up to 50 million annually, and it's there to provide concentrated seed funding for employer-led projects that attract further co-financing from business. Uh, Renewable UK, which is the sector trade association, is leading a pro project to establish a trading network in renewable energy, and it brings together employers, colleges, universities, and others. And after a two-year period of pump priming, this network will be self-financing from 2013. After the announcement, the business secretary explained why he believes it's important to support this kind of project. Renewable energies are almost certainly one of the big growth areas in the future. You know, I was up in Aberdeen quite recently, I saw some of the oil and gas industries, the very high-tech industries, and we're already beginning to see that their future lies in you know, establishing the of the turbines um, you know, which will go into the North Sea on a very large scale. So there will be a, a transition uh, from traditional oil and gas industries to, of course they remain important, but to, to renewables and we've got to have the skill base to do the, the renewable technologies as well and a lot of it's very sophisticated. Um, we've got to skill the labour force for it. This project, which is half a million from government matched with funding from the industry, will hopefully train something in the order of 2,000 you know, very high grade skilled employees. 
Renewable UK welcomes the government's commitment to the sector. Chief Executive Maria McCaffrey says the Renewables Training Network is a good example of the industry taking practical steps to help the sector to grow. Renewable UK's role in the RTN initiative will be to coordinate all of the activity and ensure that we do actually deliver the key milestones. Naturally the supporters will uh, be the net beneficiaries of it, but one of the key uh, unique things about a national trade association is that we're impartial, we're objective, we are completely independent and in that capacity as a trusted third party we can bring all the different components together without directly any commercial interest. But we need to make sure that this uh, initiative delivers to companies, whether they're small market participants or the major players. What is actually delivered will not uh, match across the industry. Uh, it can't be a one-size-fits-all approach. And we will be speaking to our uh, partners and stakeholders over the next few weeks and months to make sure that we are absolutely clear on what is being delivered and make sure that we meet the needs that match the demands and requirements of the industry at all levels. Renewable UK is working in partnership with the National Skills Academy for Power. The three groups bring three different aspects. The government obviously influenced in driving ahead policy change. Renewable UK have very good links into the supply chain and they can help the National Skills Academy build on their expertise in the skills agenda. So the three parties work very well together. Everyone involved in the Renewables Training Network is proud to be part of an initiative which will fast-track new recruits into one of the most dynamic sectors of the economy to ensure that the UK consolidates its position at the forefront of the renewable energy sector.